Um, good morning. Um, welcome back. Um, uh, after yesterday's um, fruitful day of uh, talks, we have a second day of um, talks and discussions and a screening um, relating to the work of Mira Shandell. Um, so I think um, yesterday was an incredibly um, good and and um, uh, rich day of, of presentations and discussions, um, and uh, and I think today we'll build on that in a, in a really um, substantial way. Um, yesterday we heard um, a number of uh, 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 presentations on Shandell's work, um, which introduced us to aspects of her biography, aspects of her participation in a narrative of exile and um, immigration to Brazil. Uh, we heard about Schendel's relationship to abstraction, and in particular, her engagement with um, the critic and physicist Mario Schoenberg. We heard also about her relationship to language, and um, her history here connected with London to Signals Gallery and um, a, another parallel relationship with um, the uh, figure of Dom Sylvester Huidard. Uh, we also were introduced to um, her relationship as well with uh, the thinker Wilhelm Flusser. But in addition to that, we heard that she engaged with a number of different thinkers, those who, um, whose writings she read, including Husserl and Heidegger, Kierkegaard, Wittgenstein, Bergson and Jung, and then a number of contemporaries with whom she corresponded and also visited and discussed in person issues around her work, including Jean Gebser, Umberto Eco, again Flusser, Hermann Schmitz, Marion Schoenberg, and we also discussed um, a little bit about her relationship and interest with Zen. And in terms of the thematic range we touched on, um, issues to do with space, to do with transparency and metaphysics, her engagement with themes of being and the structure of consciousness, um, to do with uh, time and the body, and also issues to do with faith and religion. So we covered a huge amount of territory in uh, different degrees. And today we're going to hear this morning from three, think um, three speakers who are going to touch on issues to do with Schendel and Pop, uh, Schendel's relevance to contemporary art now, and also um, approaches to Schindel, curatorial approaches to Schindel. So this is going to add to an, an three new perspectives to the um, papers that we heard from yesterday. So I'm going to hand over now to um, Michael Asprey, who's going to introduce our first speaker. Thank you, Tanya. Welcome, everyone. Um, I would just like to add a few notes on, on uh, what Tanya has just mentioned in her introduction. And, and as, as she said, we had a variety of, of papers kind of enriching and, 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 and exemplifying the, the variety of approaches possible towards uh, Mira Schendel's work. And this morning, we have uh, three speakers whose research um, doesn't really focus on Mira herself, but in, in the spirit of this conference as a kind of research in practice uh, being held in advance of the exhibition and, and therefore um, potentially enriching uh, the content of that exhibition. So in, the, in this spirit, um, we thought it would be a, a good idea to uh, invite um, researchers as, as at a doctoral and postdoctoral level to think of uh, Mira Schendel's work in terms of their uh, current research, even though her, their research uh, doesn't necessarily focus specifically on, on Mira Schendel. So again, a very experimental approach, uh, but also kind of uh, showing how, how, um, uh, how it, it, Mira's work um, enables this kind of richness and, and, and um, variety of ways in which it can be approached. So our, our first uh, speaker is uh, Sophia Gotti, who's a PhD 
student at uh, Chelsea College of Art uh, in collaboration with Tate Modern. She is the recipient of uh, an award by the HRC and she, her PhD focuses on uh, pop art uh, in Latin America, whether we can say uh, that as such, uh, whether uh, pop art actually did uh, exist in, in, in Latin America or not. That's, that's one of the issues she's looking at. Um, and uh, her research is very much, again, um, enriching the uh, research process of a forthcoming exhibition at uh, Tate Modern, which will look at uh, pop art in a global context. So, so um, Sofia Gotti, um, so she's working uh, within this kind of very kind of specific uh, context. Um, and, and, and looking at the kind of uh, the political and, and subcultural implications uh, that um, pop art might imply within the context of Latin America. So, um, Sophia, please, thank you. <laughs> 